2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. Rulers are not a terror to good works. What good works? The keeping of the commandments. Right. Once you're keeping the commandments, you should be walking scotch free in this land. That's right. There's nothing they can, can do to come against you. Unless you want to break certain laws, right? Like the, the traffic laws. They could get you for that. But the Bible says, not, thou shalt not murder. If you, don't, if you follow the commandments of God, you shouldn't have any problem with keeping the laws of the land that says, if you murder, you're going to go to jail. It says, thou shalt not steal. If you don't steal, you're not going to go to jail. Right. You get me? Thou shalt not commit adultery. Right? There's a law on polygamy. That's your point. What's adultery mean? Adultery means like, uh, basically, sexual immorality. That right? Let's say you lay down with another man. You have sex with another man's wife. Okay? That's a form of adultery. That's what adultery is. Alright? We're not to do that. Are you married right now? Nah. Well, girlfriend, wife, you type shit. No, you gotta do that. You gotta do better than that, man. No, no, no. Right. You gotta do better than that. I'm gonna show you what. Let me get that in Hebrews 13 and 4. Yeah, yeah let me married. get that. Huh? Married right now. Yeah, I'm married. Alright? So you gotta better yourself. Always try to strive for better. Alright? We're not gonna guide you. We're not gonna guide you the wrong way. Right? Right? Huh? I know that. You know that, right? Yeah. I'm gonna read it for you. Alright? Right? Because you need to straighten out your life. Okay? Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4 Marriage is honorable in all So marriage is honorable in all Wife be your girlfriend are you saying Or you gotta marry her brother. That's right It's an honorable thing to do that What that does is reinforce our community Reinforces our nation That's right Right A strong nation begins with a strong family That's right Strong marriage you understand what I'm saying, brother? So it's important that you marry that woman. You got kids with her, right? Like that, when you when you marry her now, when the kids come into the picture, they have a stable home, right? You're not out there in the streets, you know, doing what you do. She's not in the streets doing what she do. The kids have a, a, a great example to look up to. That's right. Right? If they see both of y'all keeping the laws, they're gonna keep the laws. Guess what? They're not gonna be in jail. They're not gonna be in the corner hanging out. Right, right. You understand what I'm saying, Bridget? Right, yeah. So it's very important for a strong marriage, a marriage, right? A strong marriage is very important for a strong nation. You know. We would have the need to vote, right? Or, or lay our hopes in another nation if we ourselves strengthen our nation. That's right. You understand right. what I'm saying? That's right. Read it again for the brother. Marriage is honorable and all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Read it again. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So not married, not being married, right? I'm becoming, I'm being an adulteress in the street, screwing everything that's walking. You gotta have judgment of God. Right. How that judgment comes, because people hear that. Oh, and I beat something last night, nothing happened to me. It's gonna be that one time that you beat the wrong thing, and then your, your testicles is swollen up and blue. That's right. Or swollen up and purple. That's judgment. All right? Or something that you cannot see. 10 years from now, you decay. I see you kind of heavy set. Now you slim. That's judgment. That's right. You get what I'm saying? So that's all, that's all it comes, yeah, give me that. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, 
verse 61. That's the judgment for the adultery part. I'm gonna bring it to you. Read. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law. So every sickness and every plague that is not written here. Gonorrhea, blue waffles, AIDS, right? Clap, chlamydia. Help me out, brothers. Uh, HIV, HIV. Herpes. All right? Syphilis. HIV. They're not written in this book. But guess what? Our community is infested with them. Right. Why? Because of promiscuous. Yeah, right? Jealous husband coming home. Oh, right. Yeah. You got what? Jealous husband. You got jealous husbands coming home. And guess what happened? Now you got to fight. You might get shot, stabbed. Right? And that's instant judgment. And it's a righteous judgment. Right. All right? So we got to do better. You have to marry that sister, brother. Because it's not hard, brother. Listen, Kenneth, we all were there one time. We were all walking your ways, brother. You know? Some of us walked that way 30, 40 years. Right? But it's not late for you to change and become that man that you're supposed to be. That's right. Right? Pure gold. The, book, the Bible describes you as pure gold. You got to walk as that. You can't walk as a nigger. Because the nigger is a makeup of, of America. Get 1 Corinthians 6 9. Pay attention said, to that. He said, said some of us, like, you know, we were there one time. Right? right? Yes, sir. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? So if. If you remain unrighteous, we are not going to inherit the kingdom of God. What that means, rulership over the people that ruled you right now. What that means, you're not dependent on these people anymore. I don't know about you, but I want that. But it says the unrighteous will not inherit that. Pay attention to the key words. The unrighteous will not inherit that. Those who are breaking God's commandment will not inherit that. You will not taste that glory of putting these people like did this to our people. In chains. That's right. And in, in order. That's king. That's the kingdom of God. That's right. That's rulership. That's safe. That's to be safe, right? Read. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators. No. Not fornicators. Meaning sleeping around. Right? You're not gonna inherit the kingdom of God. Read. No idolaters. No idolaters. Those that worship the cross. Right. right? Those that worship themselves by celebrating birthdays. Right. Those are idolatry as well. All right? Read. No adulterers. Uh -huh. No effeminate. No effeminate. Homosexuals. You don't have to be a homosexual to be effeminate. Right. Those who have um, woman ways. Men, big men with woman ways. Emotional. Female tendencies. Female tendencies. Thank you. Those who have female tendencies. Right? Read. No abusers of themselves with mankind. No what? No abusers of themselves with mankind. What that means is homosexuals. Because to take a rod and put it up your, your behind, that's abusing yourself. Right. There's no pleasure in that. That's abuse. That's self-abuse. Read. No thieves. No thieves. If you like to take things that don't belong to you, right? Read. No covetous. No, no envious people. Everything you see you want. Right? You will not inherit the kingdom of God either. Read. No drunkards. No drunkards. Right? Because there's no problem in drinking. But once you pass your, your, lim your limit, that you become a drunkard. So those people are not going to uh, inherit the kingdom of God either. Read. No revilers. No extortioners. No extortioners. You're always trying to hustle your people, lying to them. You know what I mean? Trying to give them the, the, the new up. Right? Lying to your people to get something from them. You're not going to inherit the kingdom of God. Read. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. Read. And such were some of you. And what? And such were some of you. Believe it or not, all those things that we mentioned, all of us were once that. Right. But we are here trying to become men. The men that the most I speak of. That's right. Walking away from all those things. Giving away all those things. Right. You get what I'm saying, my brother? Read. But ye are washed. But ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Read it again. But ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit 
of our God. That's how you become justified and cleansed from all those sins that we committed. That's how all, all of us are, are becoming cleansed, you know, clean from uh, all those sins that we committed before. That's what you're supposed to do, Ken. All right? Give away all of this world. It's not worth it. And stand up as a man. You got to find out what you got to do. What your duty is. Right. You got to find out what your duty is as a man. And that's why we're going to be here teaching you. Got it. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Uh -huh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, brother. Read. Fear God and keep his commandments. Fear what? Fear God and keep his commandments. That's all you got to do, brother. You're going to hear this over and over again. Our solution is keeping God's commandments. I'm going to start giving you commandments, right? Let me get numbers. I'm going to start giving you commandments right away. I don't know if they, were, they told you this last week. All right? I see you brought up your pants. Very good. You make an improvement. All right? That's good. That's changing. I can see the change in you. You came over here straight over here. I see you willing to learn. Right? But there's more than just bringing up your pants. We're going to go over some of those things. All right? Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Huh? Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. You heard that, uh, Kenneth? What you got to do? Nah, brother, listen to this. Pay attention, stay focused, all right? Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto you, Kenneth. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So you must make fringes in the borders of your garments. You see this? On your t-shirts, on your garments. Check the cap. Those are fringes. We must put on those things. You see, you're laughing. That's going to make you a man. That's, That's right. 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 You say you want to become a man, those are the steps you got to take. Repent. All right? Those are the steps you got to take. That's part of repentance, brother. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes and the borders of their garments throughout their generations. Throughout your generations, Kenneth. So we did it before, we gotta do it today, and we have to continue doing it also afterwards. That's right. Throughout your generations, right? Your your descendants, your your ancestors, they did that. That's right. Come right. Closer. Come and look. Check it out. That was part of your culture. Why you stop doing it? So you laugh when we told you about it, right? No, no, no. What's this right? no I'm talking about this. The clothing. Oh, 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 the fringes. Oh, we used to do that. You used to do that. You say you're a Garite, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You're a Native American, so called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You used to do that. Puerto Rican too. Right. They used to do that too. The Tainos used to do that as well. That's right. Right? All the tribes used to do that. That's right. But you see, you laugh when we told you you gotta wear that. We uh, been wear that. No, that's it, it, it is different. Don't wait until all the celebrities start picking it up for you to start wearing it. Be, be, the, be the, uh, the cavalier. Right. Be the trendsetter. Right. You gotta be the trendsetter. Don't wait for the celebrities and uh, popular culture to start picking up this this uh this this fashion st statement right here. Right. Don't wait for them. This is God. This is God's creation right here. That's right. You could do that yet. Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. Pick up where you left off. Okay. And bid them that they make the fringes and the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So upon those fringes, we got to put a border, up a border of blue. You notice everybody has a border of blue, right? But it's not just a fashion look or a fashion statement. It's the purpose behind these fringes. That's right. To help us out with something. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So we got to with those fringes, Kenneth, stay focused, Kenneth. With those fringes, right, we look upon them, 
we look upon them and we remember the commandments of God. That's right. Remember that right. we have to do them. That's the purpose of these command of these uh these fringes. Read. And do them. And that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye use to go a whoring. That ye may remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your God. So that's how you become holy. Those are steps for you to become holy. That's right. Follow the steps. And that's an easy step. Take your clothing and put fringes on it. Right. Right? Take your clothing and put fringes on it. We already told you, you gotta marry, you gotta get a job, you gotta put on fringes. Do you celebrate these holidays that are coming up right now? Yeah. You do that? Yeah. Do you celebrate Thanksgiving? Yeah. Got to. Nope. What? I'm gonna eat that turkey, man. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Are you a, you a Native American Indian? Are you celebrate that book, bro? Bring it out. Oh, Are you Bring serious, out. bro? Oh. Now you're gonna make me upset, bro. Bring it out. Yeah. Bring it out. Yeah, no, now you're gonna make me upset, bro. You celebrate the slaughter of your own people? Uh, teach! Teach! Bring it out! Bring it out! I just wanna tell you that I got a lot of got it? I understand what duties are. I go through that every day, thinking about what I want to do. You know, not as you know, yourself, like you said. You got to be your pants up, stop smoking and shit, do this like there's that. More, there's more to that. You got to, that turkey, don't touch that turkey. You might choke to death on that turkey. That's right. That's right. Right. Don't do that. You celebrating the death of your people, brother. How you want to do that? Why would you want to do that? I know what I'm you, sir. I'm talking for that good. Bro, you can eat turkey any other time of the year. That's right. Right. Don't eat on Thanksgiving. Bro. Right. Don't eat turkey or don't or don't get don't be involved. I'm not, I'm not there yet. Don't be involved in that dinner at all. I'm not on right. that day. I'm He's right. gonna break it down I'm to not there yet, bro. You go to Genesis 40. I'm gonna give you a little history on that. Alright? Because you laughing and you thinking no, no, about no, no, the gravy. No, no. Right, you thinking that. about the mashed potato, listen, brother. Listen, you gotta listen, stop that. Listen, I like You don't do that. Man. Huh? I like to That's good, I'm but I'm saying, no, 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 listen, I'm telling you this, I'm telling you this, don't get, don't get emotional, bro, we spoke about being a man, that's good, right, that's a beautiful thing, that's how you take the pain, that's good, right, but you, the fact that you want to, listen, the fact that you want to eat in commemoration of the destruction of your people, your tribe, right, that's totally crazy, bro, read, 49, Genesis chapter 49, verse 19, uh -huh. Again, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. It says, "Gad, your people, Native Americans, were overcome by a troop. The question is, what troop? That's, that's Andrew Jackson, right. the F troop, right. U.S. Cavalry. They overthrew your people, right? right? They scaled their heads, right. violated their women, took their land, smallpox, all those things I'm going to ring a bell, brother. And when they finished them off, what they did, they instituted Thanksgiving. The Bring dinner that you want to go eat. Bring it out. Why would you want to do that? So you got to think about your, about your own people, brother. You got to read your history and understand that. All right? It's not a regular day for you to eat. Like how the captain said, don't eat turkey on that day. That's basically you clapping because they, they hurt your family. You clapping, right, and celebrating because they, they, they massacre your people. Bring it out. The ludicrous, bro. That's crazy. You know, nothing to smile about that. Nothing. Read. Psalms, chapter 55, verse 21. Uh -huh. Verse 20. He have put forth his hand against such as be at peace with him. So when he came here, your people, the Gadites, right, they were at peace with them. And he put their hands forth, not to give them a hug, but to kill them, right. to destroy them, to take their land, kill their cattle. That's what they did to your people on that Thanksgiving day, brother. Yeah. They massacre your people. I got Nothing to celebrate. Read. Right, I, I gotta, I gotta take a break from here, man. Okay. Yeah, cause you know, it's, you know what I'm, you know what I'm doing right has now. Put bro. Forth his what you nah, I because I gotta work on myself more, man. This, this stuff is really. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna value this preciously. 
know what I mean? So talk to about yourself personally, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You ready, come back. And out of everybody, I stopped, man. And I really took this stuff serious and I pressured it. All right, Kevin, I, I hope you, I hope you I was, was bro. That's a fact. All right, read that again. So, chapter 55, verse 20. Right. He had put forth his hands, the so-called white man. That's what we talking about. Put forth his hands against it, uh, towards the Native Americans. Right. Not to hug them or help them, but to do what? And against such as be at peace with him. Uh -huh. He have broken his covenant. He broke every treaty that they made with him. Right, right. right. But what are people gonna do? When is Thanksgiving Day? The last November. I mean, the last Thursday of November. Right? Next couple of weeks, they're gonna go celebrate no. at East Turkey. Right. right. Celebrate the destruction of your people. Right. You should be ashamed of yourself right. by doing that. Are you gonna celebrate the death of your people? Right. Are you serious? Read. No fool, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. The words of his mouth are smoother than butter. All right? The same as a politician we were speaking of before. Right. They come and sing your sweet, that sweet song you can't say about, and they destroy you. The same thing with the Native Americans. Right? You got your brothers gonna celebrate Thanksgiving? You gonna celebrate Thanksgiving? Come over here, bro. Come over here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Y'all got five minutes, come here. Come on, man. Come here. Celebrate Thanksgiving. Be honest. With you. you know why you guys are celebrating on that day, brother? Why did you really try to celebrate on that day? You're celebrating the death of the Native Americans. Right, right. Your brothers and sisters. We as a people are not supposed to do that. God told us not to do that, bro. Because what happened if I would come and murder your family and kill them? And every year, right? Every year I go to your neighborhood and celebrate the death that I committed against your family. How you gonna feel about that? You gonna be with it? So why are people as a nation, as a community, celebrating Thanksgiving? We do. That has nothing to do with us. Right. Right? What they commemorated on that day is the death of the Native Americans, the Native American people that were conquered by the F Troop, Andrew Jackson, in your, in your $20 bill. The damn uh, uh, ex-president, Andrew Jackson. A leader, a, uh, he was a general in the F troops, the U.S. Cavalry troop, that destroyed and killed the Native Americans. And they decided to make a feast on that day, right? And now we celebrate it as a custom for ourselves, as a family day. That's a day of death, all right? And we're not supposed to do that as a people. But bring that, read that. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 11. Huh? But ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, huh? that prepare a table for that truth. So we prepare a table for that truth. Andrew Jackson and all of them, them uh, Edomites, the white people that kill our people. Yep. When you prepare that turkey, right? That's the body of the Indians, representing the body of the Indians, your brothers and sisters. Right. 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 The cranberry sauce that they usually put on the table, that we prepare. Right? That was the blood of your brothers and sisters, the Native American Indians. That's right. Because if you know, you don't know where you're from. Where your family, where people from? We are. We are. Dominican Republic and you, the same. You all are family. That's right. One people, not no different people, not Hispanics, right. blacks, no. You all are one family. That's right. And that's how we got to move. The same thing with the Native Americans. Right? That turkey that they're going to prepare is in commemoration of their death. Why we want to do that? And he knows that too. You know that's that. right. Right? He knows that. He will let you know, but we as a people don't know that. Bring it out. We eat that turkey, eat the cranberry sauce, right? Eat the stuffing and all that. All that is a representation of the death of our people. Bring it out. Why we gotta do that? Why we gotta do that as a people? That's nonsense. Read. But ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop and furnish the drink offering until that number. 
So we even set up drinks on that table. So the Bible is letting us know not to do that. Right? Because you would like for me to celebrate the death of your family and commemorate it every year. Right? Commemorate it every year. Does that even make sense, brother? That doesn't make sense. So we're not supposed to do that. Bring it out, brother. Amen. Therefore, yes, will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. So that's going to be the, the end of us if we continue to keep Thanksgiving. We're going to be killed off. We get that in Amos, right? You're going to be killed off. It's dangerous, brother. You could, act, you could literally choke on that turkey by eating that turkey, bro. You've been warned. Yes, sir, I have a question. Uh, to the point of all that, not to eat the turkey? Don't eat nothing. It's at the table. What? The whole feast. That's food. Right. No, nah, bro, you can eat turkey any day. Any day you can eat turkey, but I'll tell you what it represents, bro. Yes, sir. Hey, real quick. When was the first Thanksgiving? You don't know? With the pilgrims? Right. No. Wrong. The first Thanksgiving was a massacre. Right. Yes. They call it the Thanksgiving. You got, you got, I, um, you got, um, smart, smart balls on you. Look it up. Here's what I'm going to show you about Andrew Jackson. Because he was talking about that. It says, to put it lightly, Jackson was not a fan of Native Americans. In fact, he referred to them as savage dogs and had once written that the whole Cherokee nation ought to be scourged and destroyed. Not only did he institute policies that forced Native American migration, but he also enjoyed massacring them with his men. He didn't stop just killing hundreds of men, women, and children, and even baby, babies in peaceful encampments. He also mutilated corpses, bragging that he, on all occasions, preserved the scalps of my kill. Uh, it says right here that uh, Jackson supervised his men, mutilating around 800 corpses of Creek Indian men, women, and children to keep a record of how many they had killed. He ordered that their noses be cut off, creating a pile of hundreds of severed noses. Strips of skin were also sliced from their bodies to tan and to be used as bridal reins. Okay? And y'all want to celebrate Thanksgiving that has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with our people. Right. Thanksgiving has to do with the death of our brothers and sisters of the Native American. That's right. 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 So be careful when you eat that dinner. So it's a feast that you prepare, right? In honor and in, 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 in commemoration of, of the death of your people. It makes no sense. That same man used to skin our people and set up a war with our people's skin. He made curtains. He made curtains out of our people's skin. Right now he will take all of you, because none of you are white. He will take all of you and skin you and make curtains out of you. Why would you want to celebrate and commemorate that? And she knows that. Andrew Jackson did that. Your four parents did that. All right? Her four parents did that. And we as a people want to sit down and set up a table, right? Set up drink offerings in the commemoration of that. Makes no sense. Read that. Right. Amos chapter 5, verse 21. I hate, I despise your feast days. Wait a second, Black. He said he hates those feast days. Wait a second. He said he hates those feast days, right? Why? And I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. So when mama is praying over that food, brother, God is not there. They, yeah, they pray over the ham hock and all that. Right. God is not here, it's not there, brother. All right? So be, be mindful of that. Don't be eating that. Don't eat that. But continue, go back to um, go back to, go back to Right? Because our people are going to run and celebrate Thanksgiving. They're preparing now. They're preparing since November 1st, as a matter of fact. Right. Yeah. Buying the turkey, buying the, 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 the cranberry sauce. What else goes in there? The stuffing. Right? They're preparing now. The yams. Yeah, so for Hispanics, they like the bread meat. 
Alright. Read. Psalms chapter 55, verse 20. He had put forth his hands against such as had be at peace with him. Right. He had broken his covenant. Right. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. So the white man's word, Edomites, as the Bible called him, were smoother than butter. He puts forth his hands, but not to help. Alright? Not in a peaceful way. But to choke you to death and take your land. That's right. To strike you to death and kill you and kill you and take your land. But yet again, you want to trust them and set them over you. Vote for them. Be at peace with them. Right. I mean, you have to be at peace with them. You're not gonna kill them right now. But I'm saying you're gonna be right, following their ways. Read. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. The what? <laughs> the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. That's describing all these damn politicians that you only see them around our voting time. Election day, right. right? That's right. They never come to the hood any other day. Bring it out. But election day, they over there want to shake your hands. In the back pocket, they got a big hand sanitizer right. after they check your hands. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.